Rollin, Bannon, Rollin. Thank you so much for your time, first of all. Uh, uh, yesterday, we found out, according to Baseball America, that you all are the number two ranked uh, team in terms of talent in the minor leagues. Now, you're part of that. Is that something that you, you guys pay attention to? Uh, I don't really. You know, it's, it's really cool to, to see some stuff like that because I know the guys that we have in our organization, you know, top to bottom. Some of the, some of the new draftees are, are pretty impressive, and then the guys that have been around for a while, like, from top to bottom, we're, we're, we're solid. You know, you were uh, you were part of a pretty major trade that the Orioles made. I, you know, we trade one of the better players on the planet and Manny Machado, you know, to the Dodgers, and you come over. And what I found so interesting, if you look at kind of your numbers, I mean, uh, you know, you're leading the California League in home runs with 20. You're hitting almost 300. You really hit well. I mean, you almost had like 50-some uh, extra base hits, 53 extra base hits. And the next thing, you you, you know, you're, you know, you're in double-A buoy, which is a step up. What was that like? Yeah, no, it, was, it was definitely a really cool experience. You know, uh, I remember initially getting traded. Everybody always says getting traded the first time is the hardest. You know, it's, it kind of hits home a little bit because you, you got to leave the team that drafted all your friends you made. But, you know, uh, the Orioles became home to me pretty quick. You know, I, I walked in the clubhouse full of good guys at the time. And uh, they made that transition uh, pretty smooth for me. And, um you know, it did, obviously getting bumped up a level it wasn't easy, but, you know, I, I overcame a lot of adversity and the pressure of obviously being part of that trade. And, uh, yeah, definitely having some success after that is, is awesome. Yeah, Rollin, you are now AAA with the Birds, with the Orioles, and uh, you have a, the number one guy in all the minors now as your teammate in Adley Rushman. How, how has that experience been playing with him? Yeah, he's, he's awesome. You know, we uh, – we thoroughly enjoy having him in the clubhouse. He's a great dude. Um, when he when he got to the team, it definitely gave us a little extra spark. You know, it was fun. He, he makes it fun. You know, guys guys nuts him all the time. He's he's a good guy. You know, uh, he's obviously extremely talented on the field. He's fun to watch play. And it's it's a pleasure uh, getting to watch him every night. You know, Rob Long talked about uh, player you know player of the week, uh, five home runs, and you know I'm looking at the numbers and not to be negative. It looked like you were struggling a little bit, and then all of a sudden, five home runs, you hit two in one game. What was it like? Yeah, you know, it's, it's no secret that I, I kind of started the year pretty slow. Um, I, I ended up getting hurt a couple months back, and I was down in Florida for a little while, and then came back and kind of continued that struggle. But, you know, I, I worked pretty close to all the hitting coaches and the uh, mental performance coaches and stuff like that, and I, uh, I think I'm getting on the right track. So it's, it's kind of fun to see some of that hard work pay off. And, uh, you know, I, I think a lot of guys need to go through some of that adversity to kind of, you know, get get down to learning who you really are, and it's it's kind of fun when you overcome that. Well, you had the oblique injury. I think that's what you're kind of alluding to, and, and and then, but can you maybe let the people that actually watch Oriole baseball understand maybe the difference? Uh, you know, we talked about A ball to Double A in what 2018, and then this year Double A to Triple A, you get a little bit of an injury, which is a major injury if you're a hitter. What's it like? I mean, is it? Can you compare Double A to Triple A? How, how is it different? Yeah, you know, I mean, every level that you go up, I think the game speeds up a lot. Um, and people say that about AAA to the big leagues. Even though you're playing a lot of big league guys here, you go up there, you're playing at the best of the best. It's like the game's obviously going to speed up right a little bit. But uh, I think one of the biggest differences that I've noticed is just the, the pitching mainly. Uh, all the pitchers up here, they're, they're extremely polished. You know, they, they know exactly where everything's going. They can throw all their pitches for strikes, whatever they want. You know, uh, you're, not, you're not even guaranteed a 3-0 fastball sometimes. So it's... That, that's definitely the biggest adjustment. And, Rollin, you, uh, we can find out more about you on MassInSports.com and look at your stats on baseball reference. But tell Oriole fans something about you that hasn't been written and hasn't been said. Oof. That's a tough <laughs> one. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I think uh, I, I bring that bulldog mentality to the field every single day. You know, I, I come out here, I play really hard. Um, that's kind of been my game. And, uh, you know, I stick to that. My, my player uh, rep used to always be Dustin Pedroia. And uh, if you know how he plays, that's kind of how I see myself. Yeah, you know, I was reading all the scouting reports, and you know, I saw some of the. You got 17 at bats, I think, in spring training. That must have been a nice, uh, you know, nice adjustment. What did you do last summer? Were you in the alternate camp? I, I couldn't find that. Uh, yeah, they, they sent me out there for like the last month or so. And what was that like? I mean, you, you in, in, in essence, you know, you had a really good 2019, so you pretty much missed all of uh, 2020. So yeah. it must have been pretty exciting to go to spring training with the Orioles this year, in a sense. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, last year was definitely tough for all of us. You know, I'd be at home most of the summer. Uh, I was fortunate enough to have a, a good group of pro ball guys work out with every single day, so... 
towards the end of the summer, you know, nothing's for sure. I wasn't even sure if I was going to go to the all plant site or not. And finally getting that call, it was awesome. So then seeing some of my hard work last summer and uh, at the all plant site and even instructs last, last fall uh, pay off and get invited to camp this year is something special. Rollin, we look forward to seeing you up here in Birdland. But until then, continue to rake, young man. Once again, thank you for your time this afternoon. Yep, stay healthy. Awesome. Yeah, absolutely.